Hey, what's going on guys? Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about Guild Wars 2 because uh, as you've been seeing on my live streams, I've been playing a lot of Guild Wars 2 and I really love the game. There's there's a lot to it. It's very like good for casual players like myself. I only have very limited time, so I'm at two to four hours max that I can really dedicate to the game. So um, it's really nice to be able to play like a more casual style MMO. Biggest thing that really bothers me right now though is trying to get this dragon. I've been working on this thing for about a month, a little bit more probably. And uh, I'll play on and off the stream just trying to like work on all these things. Which I was fine with the whole farming of, of uh, getting the achievements and getting all these things on uh, just kind of working towards all that stuff. That was cool with me. And I was fine with that taking time. But the thing that really has me really angry right now is the gathering of 250 of each material in in the path of fire you know expansion stuff that stuff is extremely obnoxious extremely time consuming i'm running three level 80s and i'm jumping from each out trying to do the farming so i'll run around i i, I downloaded the taco thing and i'm following the paths gathering as much stuff the problem with the materials is that it doesn't always drop since it's a rare material. And I need to have 250 of this rare ass material. So each character can get around 20 pieces-ish per day because this is time gated. So basically like I'll gather all the stuff, I'll do the, the hearts, and then I'm done. Like I can't do anything else, I have to wait for the next day. And this is something that really fucking sucks. And I've I've seen a lot of people complaining about this. I saw a lot of a lot of comments I've been getting too on my videos I've been posting on Instagram and TikTok. And it's it's all like this is the thing that that kind of messes video games up always is is like they try so goddamn hard to make it very time consuming so that you would keep playing the game. But in reality, all it does is make you not want to play anymore. Hail Mighty Hero again. <laughs> Here we go. Watch. Listen. Hail Mighty Hero. Yeah. My favorite saying. And we're going to hear it 10,000 more times. For anybody that gets into games like this, let's say, like, even if it's a hardcore player. When a hardcore player plays a, a video game and they're really dedicated to that one game... And they're playing the shit out of it for eight hours a day, every single day, or whatever. It's easier for them to obtain things because they not only learn more about the game, but at the same time, they know exactly the path to take. They know exactly what to do and, and they get it done. For casual players like myself, which is a majority of the world, <laughs> like if you really truly think about it, casual players run the world. And this is why games like Fortnite, this is why games like World of Warcraft and uh, League of Legends, all these games are very, very popular because they are they can be approached very casually or they can be approached hardcore because it rewards skill in, in most of these games. Like I said earlier, I only have like two to four hours that I can dedicate. Realistically, I only have two hours a day that I can dedicate and it's during my live streams. So whatever you see me live streaming is literally the game I've played the whole day. Like that's it. I don't have extra time and I can't dedicate extra time to Guild Wars 2. So basically, I want to have fun playing the game and I really like the story. I really like doing, you know, just the random exploring I, I like doing the hearts, I want to level up alts, but I can't do any of those things because right now, my mind is like, if I take time away from doing those things, I'm taking time away from getting my dragon. You know what I mean? So basically, like, if I don't do my, my farming of the daily, running around, picking up all the materials thing, then I'm not going to get anything done. You know what I mean? So this is where it has me on a kind of like crossroads right now. So, pretty much, I'm going to get this dragon because I have it in my head that I need to get it. So, I'm like, because once I get something in my head that I, I just need to have that thing, I can't stop until I get it. So, I've, I've gotten to the point where I just have to do it. I have to struggle through this 
this whole like gathering the 250 of all this shit. And I know that this is probably not the end of this because it probably goes into another another arc because I, I know there is another arc of flying sky scales, which I don't know where that leads. I haven't done any research and I'm afraid to do research because I don't want to know like what's going to happen because if I can't fly my goddamn dragon, I'm going to be pissed. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of touch base on all this stuff. Like, I don't I don't hate the game. I just hate this. I hate that you have to the the farming of the dragon itself is extremely obnoxious because it's not even I, I don't feel like it, it goes to the point where it feels like it was a challenge you know because if something is a challenge i can respect that i can totally get that but when it's and when it's just like one after the other like you do the achievements oh now it's jumping puzzles oh now it's collect things oh now it's get the eggs Oh, like, it's just, like, nonstop. I've been working on this shit for a month, you know? Like, it it's, it just feels like it's never-ending. Like, you're jump, I'm jumping through hoops. And this is not something that I want to see in a video game. Like, I go through this shit in real life with my jobs. I remember when I used to work for Disney, and they used to do the same shit with me. Oh, you want to get your bonus? Well, you're going to have to get perfect surveys throughout the month. I had to take 10,000 calls or more or whatever. Like, you know, there's actual requirements. And then I have to make sure that I sell a certain number of packages. So I need to make, like, over $100,000 in, in packages in a month. You know, like, it's, there's all these little requirements that required to actually get my bonus that really fucks everything up. And it makes me, like, hate my job. And that's why I quit that job and I'm doing Uber now because I don't have to worry about that stupid shit. If I get paid, I get paid and that's it. You know, so I don't want to have to deal with that shit in a video game. I, I play video games to unwind. So this is where it has me all fucked up with Guild Wars 2, you know? Let me know in the comments of what you think about all this stuff. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm already like kind of burnt out already. Like I, I already don't really care to play Guild Wars 2 anymore because of this, but I'm so determined to finish this dragon, I just have to do it. Once I get the dragon done, I know that I'm going to have time to actually do the things I really want to do, which is I want to level an out, I want to go from scratch, I want to try crafting, I want to try to have fun, but <laughs> the goddamn dragon, man. Anyway, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll see you on the next one, alright? Later, guys.